Did you know it's possible for anyone to get a Mew from Pokemon Emerald? While this event was technically only released via the old sea map in Japan back in the 2000s, all the data for Mew and Faraway Island exist within every cartridge. Glitch Hunters miraculously found a way to reach the island and it's as fantastic as the Playground Tales of old. First, we trade this guy a Ralts for Dots the Sea Dot and give him one HP up. Then we kill seven Whismur, six Shuppet, and teach him Flash in the fourth move slot. Next, we trade this guy a Volbeat for Plus as the Plusle and erase all his moves but Growl. Using the Battle Tower, we can clone the pair multiple times, arranging them in a checkerboard pattern in box 1 and 2. Then, we use a Pomic Berry to lower a Pokemon's HP to 0 without fainting it, thus creating a glitched question mark Pokemon to appear when we enter battle. By scrolling up past your party, your cursor starts corrupting dots and pluses, eventually creating a special egg in a nest ball. And then, by naming your boxes gibberish like this, you can hatch this scary blood magic question mark, executing the code and teleporting you to Muse Island like magic. Did I mention this is the only yes. way to capture a shiny Muse? And though it only released in Japan, it still transfers through Pokemon Home. Pretty cool, right? 